This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is the coolest tool so far of 2021. You know what the problem is? What? We're not telling what we're making right now. Oh. Today, we're going to make another super easy, super simple recipe. This is beef fajitas. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Now you didn't explain what this is and it's not a nose picker. Are you sure? Well, I mean, I, you could use it. That would really hurt. That would get them. So this is a jalapeno core. And it only took Joe 50 years to find something so that he didn't core out a jalapeno and then wipe his eyes. Well, you ever wonder like when you see people and they have jalapeno rings, but there's no slice in it, right? Yeah. And you're like, how did they do that? Perfect. It's what this. So you take a jalapeno and you can just, you stick it right on here and you twist it and it pulls out the whole core and the seeds. I love it. And it leaves your jalapeno intact. And yeah, that is an just awesome tool. And I'll leave a link for this down below because this, it was a cheap gadget, but I absolutely love this thing. Not for this recipe, but I'll tell you what I would do with one that's long like this. Once you core it, shove a mozzarella stick down in there and wrap this puppy in bacon. Oh, I think we're gonna do that after this recipe. Yeah. Okay, let's get to what we're doing today. So we're making one of my favorite Mexican meals, beef fajitas, but this one is a little bit different. This isn't the one you get in the restaurant, like the sizzling pan. The sizzling pan. plate. This one is gonna be something that you really like. Yeah, because it is something that I can set it and forget it. You yep. don't wanna leave a sizzly pan by itself, but yeah. you can leave a crock pot by itself. And the thing is, is sizzling fajitas, you can screw them up because you can overcook, overcook. or undercook the meat. But this recipe, is really easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel could make it. And we're gonna give you two different ways to make it. So Rachel asked me for recipes that are very easy and very quick to make. So this one is gonna come to you two ways. Number one, it's easy. Mm -hmm. And number two, you can either do it in a slow cooker, like you said, set it and forget it. Yes. If you're not married to Rachel, who won't let me set a slow cooker and then leave the house. If we're home, we can do it. No, I said leave the house, which is what you do with a slow cooker. Or we're gonna tell you how to do it in an Instant Pot. So are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, let's go over the ingredients, okay? So the first thing you're gonna need is some flank steak. So I picked up a big giant thing of it at a Sam's Club. I think it was like five pounds. It was like $5 per pound. Uh, so we actually have a lot. And what you're gonna do is you're going to slice it thin, or not too thin, but into pieces, about like that, okay? One and a half pounds is what you're gonna use, okay? So that's perfect for me, for two people, for most people, you know, four. Right. But then we need a green pepper. Mm -hmm. We need an onion, but we're only gonna use about a third of the onion. Yeah. Okay. We need a jalapeno. A single one. We need some cumin. Mm -hmm. We need some chili powder. Right. We need some garlic. We need some coriander. We need one can of diced tomatoes you could use less if you want, but you're really gonna want, you want that flavor. Yeah. And then you could go get a tomato, but it's just cheaper to buy so the diced tomatoes. So much just easier. Okay. We need some cilantro. My mother's least favorite ingredient. I highly recommend fresh. You can use dried, but there's a huge difference there between really fresh and dried. Mm -hmm. And then finally, 
We need some salt. Every recipe. Now, you ready to see how easy this is? Now, we're going to yep. make this one slow cooker, mm -hmm. okay? So all you're going to do is take the lid off. I can do that. Oh, that's the one that's not sliced. We're going to take our one and a half pounds of flank steak and dump it in there. I helped. We're going to take one green pepper that we have sliced into little pieces. Which this looks like fajita slices. Yep, just dump it in there. We're gonna take a third of an onion. Again, you can chop it. I prefer fajitas like this kind of a thing. You know, I wanna be able to know I'm eating a piece of onion. You can cut back on the onion. Onions are a bit carby, but to me they bring flavor. You're still gonna be fine, don't worry about it. Okay, one jalapeno, remove the seeds, and you're gonna chop it up finely. Now here's the thing. Jalapenos bring flavor. They really the do. The seeds bring the heat. So if you don't want heat, take the seeds out. You'll get a touch of heat, but not much. No. If you really want to have this super spicy, put a few seeds in there. But don't be afraid of jalapenos. Jalapenos are flavor. It's the seeds that are making it really hot. Exactly. Okay, so then we're going to go quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Yeah, powder. Okay. And then, okay. Everything else is one teaspoon, except for your cilantro. You're gonna go a tablespoon of dried cilantro or about two tablespoons of fresh. Again, I highly recommend fresh. Makes a huge flavor difference, I think. I wanna get it all in there. Okay. Teaspoon of cilantro, of coriander. Teaspoon of cumin. Teaspoon of chili powder. And I missed one. Ooh. Teaspoon of salt. Don't forget the Redmonds. Finally, take your can of tomatoes, dump it in there. Put your lid on. Now again, we're using an instant pot, but we're gonna put it on the slow cooker setting. So slow cook, we're gonna go for five hours and it'll start automatically. Now, if you want to do this in the pressure cooker, mm -hmm. very simple. Add a half a cup of water. Right. Okay, you've got some water and tomatoes. Add a half a cup of water, 20 minutes on high. That's fast. Okay, super simple. We'll be back when this is done. Thanks to the magic of television, it's been six hours. So we just finished up our Thursday night live stream. Perfect timing as we were finishing up the live stream. The beeper went off on this thing and I am ready to eat. So we have one serving here and this is what it looks like and it looks delicious. Now this is more of like- Fajita stew. A fajita stew. So think about a fajita but not that sizzling thing. And again, you can cook it in a slow cooker. You can cook it in a pressure cooker. I do want to correct one thing. I don't think I was clear before. So. I had said if you're gonna cook it in a pressure cooker, add a half a cup of water. That is if you're using fresh tomatoes and you didn't dump the can in with the water. If you're right. gonna use a can and not drain them, then you don't have to add any water. There's plenty of liquid in that can of tomatoes. But if you're gonna use fresh tomatoes or if you drained out that the water that was in that can, then you have to have a half a cup of water. Yeah. So you ready to try this? Absolutely. I want a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna put a little bit of onion. A little bit of tomato. Sorry for my fingers in your food. I don't want your fingers in my food. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right. Now, I do have this cut a little bit bigger. I didn't cut them in half. So. But I like that. Ready? Huh? Dink. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's the perfect amount of chewiness. Mm-hmm because the slow cooker didn't dissolve it into like it's mush. Super tender. Mm -hmm. And again, flank steak can be a little bit tougher piece of meat. Nice and chewy, flavor on point. The flavor is just all the way through. You're tasting a piece of meat, but you can taste the onion and you can taste the tomato and you can even taste the, um, the back note of the jalapeno. It's in there. Right. 
So that is gonna be our video for today. Now again, the recipe for this is linked down below. Let us know down in the comments section uh, if you make this and also obviously let us know what you think about it. Now if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist of recipe videos which I'm gonna link right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we make something easy and delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.